Hello and welcome to the show. We start this week's Ferris episode with an electromotive on Forza Horizon 4, racing in the Eliminator. When they get unbelievably lucky, not only do they bounce off a tree with millimetres to spare, the car that they were racing and was looking likely to win got stopped by a train of all things. I didn't actually know the trains spawned in the Eliminator. I can't remember ever seeing one. Not that I've played a huge amount of it, but uh, <laughs> you couldn't have... Couldn't have got luckier than that, pretty much. Uh, Tigu up next is on Horizon 5. Spawned in, they went to go and visit the stadium, expecting there to be ice here. This was during the uh, sort of winter event, and well, <laughs> no, nope, there was just no floor at all. Just just no floor was loaded. The Corvette jumping through the floor, and uh, then respawning in the grandstands. It's not quite where you're ideally going to be having your Corvette, but they are not the only ones that apparently are car crashes. Personally, I never experienced this one, but Kath also on Horizon 5 found a very similar thing. Went to visit the stadium, and sure enough, there is a big old world hole. Minecraft would be impressed with the size of the world hole going on in this one. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, it's not nothing down there. And sure enough, this time the El Camino gets respawned in the same grandstand. There we go. Now we're sticking with Horizon 5 with Kitnex, and I have to say I am impressed with this use of the game being broken. You see, in the early days, and still to an extent now, it can be difficult to see other players. Sometimes you can see cars, but they can't see you. Sometimes no one can see each other. It's all a little bit weird and wonderful, but these lots have found a rather good use for this. The Ford here can see a Koenigsegg Yesco that is running at very high speed. The Koenigsegg can't see the Ford. What that means is when the Koenigsegg going 300 miles an hour hits the Ford, it fires the pickup truck at 297 miles an hour through a speed camera. Because the Ford's not there on the Esco screen, it doesn't impact the uh, Koenigsegg at all, so it continues along with its speed. What happens if you park two Fords here? Fords, they can see each other, they interact with each other, but neither can be seen by the Koenigsegg. And sure enough, well, this time it's even faster, 303 miles an hour. I hope that's a stock, I hope that's a stock Ford that has gone and set the personal best there, because that would look wonderful on the leaderboard. It's kind of cheated, but not glitched. Well, it's a curious cheat, that one. I, I like the creativity, they're very impressed. Calvin Toda up next on F1 2021 is uh, racing away when, as they head down the first straight at uh, Austria, there it goes to overtake, and there is a yellow flag, basically at the same time. The thing is, in all of this, managing to dodge out of the way of a slowing AI car, they slightly, very slightly nick the back. I, I say they slightly nick the back of it. They get a five second penalty for that, that may be the tiniest of contact, but nothing gets broken on the cars. That's, I mean, there's the FIA for you in terms of penalties going on there. Uh, Kieran up next on uh, F1 2021 as well is uh, trying to load a setup as they're kind of starting a challenge sort of thing. Uh, so, sure enough, guys find the setup they want, put it on the car. As the game I guess, resets, it loads a setup, it decides to respawn them directly in the wall. Yeah, there's not much you can do about that one, is there? <laughs> Funnily enough, yeah, that, that's uh, definitely terminal damage. A uh, cool drop next on uh, Valentino Rossi at the game. Uh, so everybody is, well, everyone racing, minding their own business, breaking down to this corner where one of the AIs decides it's just going to go for a little bit of motocross. Turns out the uh, racing bike's not designed for uh, for the motocross five of them managing to fall over on that uh, wonky line uh, black and red 81 on hot wheels unleashed gets chomped by the snake uh, i haven't played this game a fair bit i have hit the nose of the snake i've gone just under the snake i also love that they managed to roll as immediately afterwards never managed to have a car caught by the snake so that is quite impressive well done uh, ginger viking jesus is up next on day z with, well, it's already not going very well for the truck. You can see it's not happy. There's some weird glitch. I mean, the game itself is a bit janktastic at the best of times, but you can see the truck wheels are not happy. There is something not right quite going on with this truck. But they 
they sort of try to set off and it's starting to go a little bit more wrong as the truck tips from side to side for seemingly no reason oh now we're going to now things are going bad definitely not how trucks are supposed to act this is what we expect to see from snow runner not from other games involving trucks and now we're through the floor and now we're spinning around and we're through the floor again we're going to plummet it down and we're going to kind of bounce around and then somehow get stuck under the world in a weird weird place not really where you want it to be oh and then the nose is going to get spat out and then we pass the concrete and now we're back on the road again i mean it was a fun trip probably not what you want to be doing as you can see the truck's still unhappy still wanting to kind of bounce and glitch itself around a little bit here um it's i mean it's, it's better than it was you can still see it's tipping from side to side uh, can we negotiate the next concrete barrier not very well the truck's still unhappy oh and now we're just going to go ping up to the sky and then back through the floor again yeah, I expect this from SnowRunner. <laughs> uh, from from Daisy, I mean, I expect some jankiness, but not quite this level of weirdness from the truck as it still gets flung about. I presume it's probably some sort of internet lag going on because it does sort of teleport itself eventually back onto the road. But, uh, yeah, I would walk, I think. The zombies are dangerous, but I feel like the sort of interdimensional truck is also quite dangerous as well. And uh, finally, we have Riker on a set of Corsa. And now, this is actually on board the uh, AI car in this one. So the player car has just come out of the pit line. The AI is minding its own business, and there's the player. <laughs> that, that's the player car. <laughs> that's definitely not where it's supposed to supposed to be. So it is uh, raining here. I guess it might have just started raining, whatever it is. It's obviously not going to be a huge amount of grip. The player, in all of this, just puts the left-hand side on the grass gets it wrong and loses the back end and it's a huge crash for the car uh, tumbling around probably quite an entertaining experience in in vr as, as it's as it's being recorded here um yeah that's a monstrous crash it's an absolutely monstrous crash there uh, so yeah just just got it wrong across the grass that bit there kind of makes sense that bit there makes less sense quite why it bounced and pinged and flew as far as it did. there's a few stricken ai cars around the place as well obviously the conditions have caught some vehicles out but uh there we go. That is going to be it for this uh, for this video. As ever, if you have clips you'd like to submit to this series, you can via a Google form. There'll be a link to it in the description. Uh, all the rules and how it works can be found on there. That, though, is going to be it from me. Thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, a goodbye.